Hey, it's Dave from Bullpen Cycles. Today is Thursday. I think it's October 4th. And it's setup day. We're back at the Barber Vintage Motorcycle Festival. Funny thing is, they keep coming earlier and earlier. We got here yesterday and half the people were set up already. So they're all trying to get here early and make a deal. But anyway, I'm here. we gotta share this story with you. All right, you know Steve. Hey, I'm Steve. From, from Bullpen, Bullpen Cycles. <laughs> and I, well, I forgot your name. Ronnie. Ronnie, now Ronnie has a story. Ronnie watched my video from the York swap meet, the one in January. That's right. That's right. And that's a good swap meet. But anyway, so what happened? Well, the good thing is with Dave, you know, he shows the phone numbers, the, tells you a little bit about what he sees as, as much as he can. And he showed a Magna V45. Oh, it was a V45 Magna. V oh, because I thought you meant Ma Mako. Okay, so a V45 Magna yep. that you saw the phone number on the video. Yep. And, uh, and, and you kind of showed a little short, you know, view of the bike. So I called the number after I saw that, I talked to the guy who had a dealership. In, uh, in Virginia, I believe it was, and uh, we worked out. And you, field. and you bought the bike. I bought the bike. So now, where are you from? I am from Orange Beach, Alabama. From Alabama to Virginia, from watching a video from York, Pennsylvania. That's correct. Oh, that's freaking cool. Hey, thanks, Roddy. Thank you, the best. That's cool. It's around noon, and it's kind of empty. Now, only vendors are allowed in on Thursday, but there's still. A lot of spaces, which is weird. How about a his and her pair of TC 100s? So let's look around. CR 125, last year of the steel frame, $3,600, no phone number. There's a Vance and Heinz Yamaha. This was a limited edition. I remember when these came out. And here's a phone number, so it's probably the same guy. 106 of 600, Vance and Heinz Yamaha. Well, you know the pipes are stock, slightly weathered. An NS400 Honda. Now I think this is a different vendor. A TDR yeah. Yamaha. I don't see a number. Is that a uh, Freddie Spencer helmet, maybe? Uh oh, gonna get hit. Let me think, One of these Christmas chrome Hondas. Guessing that's an ME100 Indian. That's pretty nice, though. Here's a little Elsinore. So, why am I looking at the Indian? When there's an Elsnore there. 800 bucks. Well, that's a Fuji. Could be 80 or 100. Here's a Daytona. Twelve five for a Daytona. I know they're limited edition, but I think I'd go for like an RZ350. Igloo electric coolers. Seventy three R seventy five. Two K miles? Are you kidding me? Four 
405-412-4734. So I'm gonna guess it's the same vendor here. Labitska? One of the 24 that were modified by Otto Labitska. GS650, boy, those things are tall. Sometimes you're looking for enduro parts. It's just cheaper to buy a donor bike. That's Gavarna. I am a six-speed splined counter shaft sprocket 72-250WR. Seventy five three sixty GP. Now, here's a Triton that actually looks nice. A lot of times you see these and they don't look nice. It's a nice looking Triton. Some Triumph parts. Seventy nine with title, three hundred bucks. Title's worth that. Runs. I wouldn't have guessed that. FCR four hundred fairing. Somebody needs that. Honda Nightmare, I mean Dreams. And a whole rainbow of flavors. Orange, orange, berry, cherry. Don't have lemon yellow. That's a pretty trick. BS. That's been here before. Oh, he sold his Sportster and his Eliminator. What is hiding by the wall? Oh, a Penton. A late one. This year is gonna be smaller than last year because they don't have the field, the upper field. I guess they didn't get enough people. And they're putting the, uh, those people down in here. Ooh, here's a Ducati Scrambler. Oh, and an H2, an early one. Not for sale. Gotta walk over to that Ducati Scrambler. doesn't say anything yet we will check back tomorrow and here's another single cylinder Ducati and a Honda 50 their answer to the YSR here's something you don't see here is a Rickman Z1 Hey, it's Dave from Bullpen Cycles. Tell us about your Z1. Yeah, man. This is the real deal. Your Rickman Z1. And 
one of the original 77. The original 77 used the 900 Z1 side covers. After that, the frames were made for Richmond. So a few of them were two up, third the versus the one C. This is in the original gel coat. That's not that's paint, that's the original gel coat. coat. This frame came from a collection at Saturn with 3,000 miles when I bought it about 10 years ago. Wow. So, so it's got Lockheed brakes, which are English. And is the rear brake, what what is that rear master cylinder? It's, it's Lockheed, Lockheed oh, I've not brakes. seen one, that's pretty different. This is Gerling, it came with Gerling. Oh yeah? German, only the first 77 had the complete kits. Gerling German rear shocks and the 41 millimeter front ports. They went to 38 millimeters in the catalog so they get the double disc. That's very this sweet. This was one of the bikes brought in by Craig Better, one of the originals. Oh yeah, okay, cool. Built in 74. I have... Neat. And we have some little tiny Osa. Osita. Osita? 1968 Osita. These little Osa. Oh. 50 cc. That makes sense. It's a moped. My brother just finished the uh, baby Indian over here. Well, I was looking at, it looks like an Alpina hiding over there. Where's the baby Indian? Over here. Oh. Pair of little Suzuki's. Here's a flathead triumph. I think these were military. Is How that you doing? hi? All right, good to see. You. Where's the Biltaco tag? Right on down here. I don't know what it is. It's a, it's a deal. <laughs> I know you buy it. No, I'll that's a, panel. that's a, that's a, I think that's an aftermarket clock. <gasps> now those are, I know somebody who needs that front fender. That is a Mark IV fender. Um, cause I just sold him a Mark IV frame and engine and I'm going to show him what that, but that, that's an aftermarket Clark tank. Yeah. Um, Bull Taco never had a center mounting tank, but I'm going to show my friend that fender. Do you know what this is? And I got I got some Bull Taco pipes in there too. Boy, that rings That's, a bell. That is old. I think it's NSU. I think it's because it would have said NSU in here. I think. Because the shape of that little wing, I think. Yeah. Uh, there's a guy down here with an NSU shirt on it. has an emblem on it. His name is Bruce. 69 Suzuki T120. 895 no title is that a stinger benelli cougar uh i never heard of that one 65 cc's there's a nice dt 250. oh a pair of rickman zundaps over there leaning against the tree that DT250 will clean up nicely. There's a CZ. Some kind of Bassani pipe. Some vintage boots. Yeah. Yeah, I got one of the Haas tanks on my super. You can turn your CZ pistons on that lathe right there. Oh, look at that mini lathe. I'm not competent enough to do that. Unimat. Miniature. So are we, huh? Oh, we have OSA stuff hiding in here. Now these were what, 77? 1977, and they made a thousand of them. They made a thousand? Yeah, your prototype should be 75 or 76. Uh, I think and it's I think 75, it's, yeah. The tank's a little... Oh, it's totally different. It's a totally different bike. Now, uh, um, do you know the history of this particular bike? No, we, I don't. Okay. We bought it off. There's an MX250 Facebook group. Yep, and yep. 
the guy was selling it at Meekum because one year at Meekum they brought 22 right. real high. Right. The next Meekum there was like six of them. This was part of that one. It didn't hit a reserve and went into the back room where you can walk around and oh. and we made an offer. Good and, for you. And they took it. So good for you. And just, you found some vintage Harley clothes. Yeah, this is one of the original jerseys. You know, when you see Rocket Rex yeah. riding these and all the period advertisements, this was like the type of jersey that's got the sewn in elbow. Now, I'm friends with Don Godowski that rode these too for the factory. He's yeah. from Jacksonville and I'm from I'm near Daytona. That's got his bike. Yeah, okay. All right. Cool. Yeah, of course, these fans, they've, they've, yeah. they've served their purpose. I mean, we I just happened to find a pair of leather pants we just kind of put with it. But that's, cool. That's really what they, what they rode. We'll just bring it because you never see one out or see one here at least. So, you know, we always either bring this or some flying dragon on the bike. Oh, I've seen it here one year. Yeah, yeah. All right, well, thank you. Oh, these are kind of an item now. A CB900RR or a CBR900RR. 8500 bucks. Isn't that about what they sold new? That's clean. That's a Gilroy Indian. Here's a nice looking Nighthawk. $6,500. bucks. 205 I guess that's 542 7006. I'll be here all weekend. Okay, we're here. Big bore kit for most British bikes. Norton, Sheriff's Helmet, they reproduce these now, but these are always cool, the finned covers, some kind of dog out of the mailbox. Norton, a late Enfield, more Norton stuff. A lemon peeler. Converted to supermoto. A cross trainer converted to supermoto. Well, that floats my boat. I have a cross trainer, but I don't have one converted to supermoto. Did you change the suspension, lower it a little bit? Four. Four inches. Did you just cut the spring, springs or did you revalve it? You know, um, You sent it out, so you're... No, I, uh, the first thing was I just put the wheels on and took it to the mountain. A half inch off the back. Three and a half off the front and a half inch off the back. Well, the back's operating on a lot more leverage, right? Yeah. And I, and I shortened it, I, you know, basically I machined a short travel kit. So what year is it? 22. Oh, that's late. Mine's like a 17. That looks like a 360 Yamaha back there in silver. Next to some Triumphs. Next to a, what is that, a Beta? Beta Trials. Tracy Tank. The t shirt guy. Yeah, he didn't see me. I don't know what it is. Sixteen hundred bucks. That's really clean. Must not have a title. It's got the winkers. These aren't my thing. That's clean. Call John. Here's a. That's a DT250. See the high fender and the pipe going through the frame. So it's not a DT1, 2, or 3. 
2600 bucks. <coughs> Call John. These are nice. Of course, I've said that before. That's the twin speed dual range CB900. That's a Triumph. Now this has pedals, so this is earlier than the 20s. Oh, this is Doug. <laughs> Did you sell your Astro that's over there now? Oh, that's your stuff too. I think this is a pre-war Scott Flying Squirrel. No, it could be post because it's got telescopic forks, but it's still got a hardtail, so I'm not certain. And here's his, this is cool. This, if I remember, is a 195 Astro. One ninety five zero 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 three three. That's early. Oh, Astro. he never. Oh. That's worth sixty five hundred dollars all day long. And I got to give him a tall, a tongue lashing.